for the home, kitchen and beyond. Kenmore manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Kenmore appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Kenmore dryer won't start. Thermal fuse. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is located on the blower housing or at the dryer's heat source such as the heating element on electric dryers or at the burner on gas models. The fuse should be closed for continuity meaning it has a continuous electrical path through it when good. If overheated the fuse will have no continuity meaning the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. A multimeter can be used to test it for continuity. Be aware that a blown thermal fuse is an indication of a restricted exhaust vent from the dryer to the outside. Always check the dryer venting when replacing a blown thermal fuse. Kenmore dryer stopped spinning. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum, around a tension pulley, and then around the drive motor pulley. Over time, the belt can break from normal use. If the belt is broken, the dryer won't turn. To quickly determine if the belt is broken, reach into the dryer and turn the drum by hand. If the drum spins very easily, the belt is likely broken. Next, inspect the belt to confirm that it is broken. If the belt is broken, replace it. My Kenmore dryer is not spinning. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum, around a tension pulley, and then around the drive motor pulley. Over time, the belt can break from normal use. If the belt is broken, the dryer won't turn. To quickly determine if the belt is broken, reach into the dryer and turn the drum by hand. If the drum spins very easily, the belt is likely broken. Next. Inspect the belt to confirm that it is broken. If the belt is broken, replace it. Kenmore dryer takes too long. Air flow problem. If the vent is clogged or partially clogged, it will restrict the airflow through the dryer, substantially increasing the drying time. To ensure proper dryer performance, you should clean your dryer's venting system at least once per year. Kenmore dryer overheating. Heating element. The heating element warms the air before the air enters the dryer drum. If the element is partially shorted out, it may produce heat continuously. Even if the dryer has reached the proper temperature. When this happens, the dryer gets too hot. To determine if the heating element is at fault, use a multimeter to test each terminal for continuity to the case. If the heating element has continuity to the case, it is shorted out. If the heating element is shorted out, replace it. Kenmore dryer won't stop. Air flow problem. If the vent is clogged or partially clogged, it will restrict the airflow through the dryer, substantially increasing the drying time. To ensure proper dryer performance, you should clean your dryer's venting system at least once per year. My Kenmore dryer is not heating. Thermal fuse. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is located on the blower housing or at the dryer's heat source such as the heating element on electric dryers or at the burner on gas models. The fuse should be closed for continuity meaning it has a continuous electrical path through it when good. If overheated the fuse will have no continuity meaning the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown. A multimeter can be used to test it for continuity. Be aware that a blown thermal fuse is an indication of a restricted exhaust vent from the dryer to the outside. Always check the dryer venting when replacing a blown thermal fuse. Kenmore dryer tripping breaker. The circuit breaker is weak. Over time, circuit breakers can weaken. If the circuit breaker is weak, it may trip too often. Even if the amperage draw is below the limit. If you have already checked all of the potentially defective dryer components. Consider having an electrician replace the circuit breaker. Kenmore dryer makes noise. Drive belt. The drive belt is a very long, slender belt that wraps all the way around the dryer drum. Around a tension pulley. And then around the drive motor. Over time. The drive belt can become frayed or otherwise damaged. If the drive belt is frayed or damaged, the dryer will be noisy as it turns. Inspect the drive belt for signs of wear. If the drive belt is worn, replace it. 